What up, guys? Mike G with MDG Collections on hand. Today, January 1st, 2018. Happy New Year, everyone. So to start this new year off right, I'm going to bring you guys some first day action. All right. New Year's Day action. Before we get into what the title says, uh, the challenges that I want to do for you guys, I wanted to just touch on one thing that a little experiment that I want to do, uh, I guess, today in this video. One of my viewers brought it to my attention. I had already been thinking about this in the past and I kind of just forgot about it and uh, stopped thinking about it. But right here where it says range 43, I'm at half a tank right now. All right. I've seen people when they have a full tank, their range. All right. Range mile. It'll be. Uh, over 200 225 230 i've seen if, if i'm not mistaken i never get over 145 i don't understand why i thought maybe before the car i needed to get over 3,000 miles because i saw in post on instagram people that i follow and that follow me they had over 3,000 miles and then their mile their range mile was 220 230 240 so i was just thinking basically my car needed to be broken in or something like that. Maybe it wasn't broken in yet. And after 3,000 miles, I would, start, I would start to get that. Or maybe after my first oil change, I would start to get that. Well, it never happened. I can fill my car up and it'll only be 145. The most I'll get range mile is, is 145, 145 miles. All right. Before technically, I guess I would be empty. I don't know if like the, the guy was saying, the guy who, who wrote me in the comments section, if there's something wrong with my mile calculator or what i don't know or if the company of gas that i'm using is, is is not that great i've been using bp for years i did a video early on about sunoco and i didn't see this change so i went back to bp i thought sunoco was going to help that change early on if you look at some of my earlier videos when i didn't see this change there was no difference between sunoco and bp i just went back to bp all right bp is what i'm used to using so I like the setup at BP. I like how there's vacuum cleaners, and I just like the setup better than it is at Sunoco. A lot of times, that also gets people to stay with a gas company. The setup, you know, uh, you know their air pressure pump, you know, when when you want to put air in your tire, you know, how their vacuum system is set up, you know, do they have a place where you can wash your car? And I just like how this BP is uh, set up wise. So that's mainly one of the one of the main reasons why I don't want to leave. And I didn't see a difference. So today I'm going to go to Shell. All right, I've been seeing people using Shell for these cars, uh, Shell gas. Uh, I'm going to use the same 93 because, you know, you got to put premium. No matter where I go, I've always put 93. But I don't know if a, a gas company has anything to do, you know, with getting this to be improved. So we'll see today. Um, but I know technically, I don't know if it's good or bad to really be switching gas companies. You know, I, you know, the car is still fairly brand new so i only have a little over five thousand miles on the car as you can see so i you know i, I wouldn't want to do something like this technically until after an oil change but i don't want to wait for that i want to do the experiment now and i figure the car is still new i don't have that many miles on it so i don't think putting a different company gas company in you know in, in the car is going to really make a big difference or you know hurt, hurt the car um, especially when it's this early on it's not like i've been having in the car for years and i've been putting bp in my car for years so it's just been not even a year. It's been nine months that I've been using BP. So uh, I'll see today if the shell gets me up to two and change. That would be I would be ecstatic. I would just stick with shell. I would just stay. I would just stay going to them from that point on. If when I put shell gas in today, it lifts me up to two and change two twenty two thirty. I'm going to know that was the problem that basically they have a better gas that i'll give i'll get better gas mileage with this car i don't know what why but I'll, I'll figure it out today so now that we talked about that let's get into what this video is about the first challenge i'm going to do is going to be bernsey rt's challenge all right and he had a challenge before i even started to, to know who he was before i was even subscribed to him i guess back in i don't know if it was i think he said it was august september some somewhere around there maybe november i'm not sure but it was before i knew about him so i missed that challenge and it was the cold start challenge so we're going to start off with his challenge first and his challenge is going to be perfect for today because once again for the th third day in a row i didn't start my car yesterday so this will be a two-day sit cold start my car has been sitting for two days this is the second day my car has been sitting without being uh started and today it is 
it says 12 degrees out, but actually, actually on my actual phone, it's saying nine degrees. All right, my hands right now are completely like just frozen. They're stiff. The car is not even, the, the engine's not running, but the car is on. All right, so I won't waste a cold start. So I've been sitting in the car right now talking to you guys about this with no engine running. So I'm going to go ahead right now and start the car and start this challenge. All right, Burns, so here we go. One, two, get down low. I know the car is literally frozen. It's been frozen for two days, so I don't know if those clicks are just the engine. Burning ice or destroying ice or exploding ice, who knows? So that was the cold start challenge for Bernsey. All right, guys. So it's funny. There's the uh, new generation Genesis I was going to get uh, at one point. My 2009 Genesis was about paid off, and that was the next generation Genesis. And they uh, actually kept the car wrapped up for 2015 to let me test drive it, but. I never got it. So, all right, second challenge is gonna be CT charges challenge, all right? It's a braking challenge, get up to 60. And it tells me I'm ready, boom. Okay, 171 feet. back around the corner and try that one again all right before we try that again i just wanted to show uh brew from uh california he was asking me about with my new setup how i have the d uh as my single current gear and the actual gear that i'm in this plane he was asking me if i'm in paddle shifters will, will that change to manual and will, it and will it change the gear and i told him yes i'm going to show him that now so we're gonna go hit the plus sign. All right, it's engaged, manual mode is engaged. All right, so basically. Change the gear, just hit the paddle shifters. All right, so it looks like, Brew, it's actually just the, the number and a plus and negative sign. All right, and here we go, first. Listen for the engine, shift. You see my finger shift to the right. Listen for the engine, shift to third. So when you're in paddle shifter mode, it just um, it just shows the, the gear that you're in. It doesn't say M, so that's how that works. All right, so now let me get out of hold down the plus sign get out of that go back to automatic let's try this uh braking challenge again let me get up here they pull over all right 
ground is still a little slippery from, I guess, the uh, snow and everything or the salt that they have on the road. All right, so I think it's up to 60, right? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> this is pretty crazy. This is a decent road for me to do this on with no one's going to be behind me. I think that's going to be it for the uh, braking challenge. Um, I'm not sure if that's good numbers, but I'm sliding a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. So I don't know if today was a great day to do that. But So we're going to jump on the highway right now and go on to the uh, next challenge, which is going to be Growl's Garage Horsepower Challenge. So I already got my big screen up for you, uh, Growl. <laughs> this is going to be for you, man. All right, we're going to go get on the highway, and uh, I should be able to get anywhere from 500 to 505 horsepower. Let's just see what we can do on the highway. Uh, we'll see what the highway is looking like, see what the conditions are looking like on the highway. Vehicle info, and then put this to... There we go engine horsepower so I got it here on the center and I'll have it here all right I'll try to keep the camera mainly on the center once I jump on the highway and we're in track mode just so you guys know just testing out that road to see how it felt all right guys so let's go ahead and jump on the highway right now and see what we can do with this uh Grouse Garage Horsepower Challenge. So, jump on and see what the highway looks like. I got my uh, horsepower here on the center cluster, and I have it on my uh, Uconnect screen. So, see what we can do. Got the windows cracked a little bit on both sides, so you can kind of hear the engine. We're in track mode. be a grave with grounds garage oh that was just a tunnel but that has to count for the uh, last challenge all right so let's see right here if i can get yeah could have got up a little bit more than that but closed in on cars <laughs> i got plenty more stretch before i get to where i'm getting so So here we are, January 1st, 2018. I'm gonna make sure I let these guys go a little bit so I can get a step on it a little bit. I already feels pretty good, not too slippery or whatever you wanna call it, but. Uh, like traffic's gonna be up there just a little bit so I don't know. I know I can get it to the fives for sure. I know that. Just like that closing in on these guys. It's a stretch right past the slight curve to the left pick back up when we get past that. All right, Growl's Garage. I'm going to have to uh, try your challenge for a second time on the way back, how I gave uh, CT Charger a uh, second run on his challenge. So I'm getting off at the exit where uh, I'm going to be doing the next challenge. So I'll try your challenge on the way back on that side when I'm going back home after we get the gas. 
All right, guys. Here's to the next challenge. It's going to be RT Life Challenge. And uh, that's going to be here <laughs> in this parking garage. I wanted to do this in a better spot, a uh, secret spot that I have for you guys. Uh, not a secret spot, but a better spot in Manhattan that I have for you guys. But the weather didn't permit for me to do that. And I wasn't happy about it. I wanted to get this video made before the end of the year. And that didn't happen due to the snow. And before a lot of you guys had these challenges happening. And during the times when I was trying to do the challenges, when you guys had them going at the time and you had the certain dates, work didn't permit me to get, get the challenges done for you guys. So I'm going to do this RT Life tunnel challenge we're not really in a tunnel but we're in a parking garage i'm in track mode i'm gonna amplify this bad boy as much as i can so windows down both sides rt life let's go baby Woo! let's get him that was hard that was hard all right i'm gonna give you another one i'm gonna give you another one, rt life Literally, the roof, the, the roof of this thing is I can stand up and touch it. I'm 6'3", I can stand up and touch it. So it's so in, enclosed, it's compressing the uh, track mode engine notes of my car and allowing me to uh, just sound like I'm doing something pretty crazy. All right, that may be, <laughs> that may be it for you, RT Life. I don't know if you can hear that, but sounding pretty crazy i'm almost ready to do one more should i yeah i think i should <laughs> oh man january 1st 2018 and uh let's see go over here it seems like that's a little i don't know if they got it set up like that on purpose all right that's enough we're done all right, let's get out of here, guys. Let's go back on the opposite side of the highway, try to do Growl's Garage uh, challenge again on the opposite side of the highway. Before I do that, I'm gonna go to the gas station and go to Shell and see if I can get this figured out with this, with this gas. All right, so my exit for the gas station will come up quick, so I'll see if I can get the uh, challenge done before I get off, probably not. So I'll have to probably pick up the challenge when I'm done pumping gas. But I just wanted to just see first, just in case I can get it done, which looks like I'm probably not going to be able to get it done. Too many cars, even on the first. All right, guys, here we are pulling up at Shell. So let's see what happens with this, uh, this gas issue. All right, I'm hearing to use the V-Power, Shell V-Power, so. Which is clearly 93, no matter what. All right, let's just top this off. So, like I said, I'm at a half a tank, and all I'm gonna do is just top off the half with this new Shell gas that I'm using. Uh, v Power Nitro Plus, and of course it's 93. So they have Shell Plus, which is 89, and they have regular Shell, which is 87. Let's see if we got the car running, but let's just see if this actually lifts it up. Wow, so this shit is expensive. I can see right now, half a tank 
or a little less, less than half a tank and clearly 40 bucks. Usually it costs about that much to fill my, my tank up at BP a little bit more. So that's crazy. So let's just see what it gave me on the uh, range mount. Hmm, so that's strange. I don't know, something's gotta be wrong with this thing. So that's even worse. 107, 107 mile range on a full tank. Even worse, so I don't know. Maybe if I turn the car off and restart it, maybe when I get home I'll try that, but that looks like that's even worse and it was more expensive, so I don't know. And by the way, their regular is 265 per gallon, plus is 293, and their super, I guess that VTEC, uh, I'm sorry, V Power Nitro is 315, so unbelievable. All right, guys, had to make a quick stop before I get on the highway. Had to turn the car off. So let's just turn the car back on and see if that resets anything to make that range mile go back higher than what it was. Let's just see. Nope, still at 106. All right, so that's it for that. Who knows if I had to start from empty and then fill it up, you know, the gas, I don't know, recognizes it's getting mixed in with other gas. I have no clue. All right. Maybe this would have been a better experiment. Like I said, to try from empty from E, fill it all the way up with that V power nitro, whatever the hell it was. Plus what I don't know what the hell it was. So I'll, I don't know, try it. Maybe I'll wait from, I'll wait until I'm empty or close to being empty try one more time maybe with Shell and see if I get that same 107 10, 106 I'm definitely not going to Shell I'm doing better at, B, at BP with the 145 mile range or range mile alright so we're going to start heading back home I'm going to see, get, get back in track mode I'm going to try grouse garage challenge one more time on the opposite side of the highway and see if i can get a better horsepower higher number uh clearly as you guys know i think i just looked at the playback video you'll see i think i was i didn't even realize i was i did 105 to be able to get up to that 475 so hopefully traffic permits me to do this um i would probably have to get i mean 105 feels like nothing i didn't even realize i did that fast so maybe i have to get up to like 115 120 real quick i can i can get up that i can get up to that in a heartbeat from 60 if I'm going 60 miles per hour just to get up to 100 and change takes no time so if I got any kind of gap any kind of stretch where there's no cars in front of me if I got a, a decent gap and I'm already going 60 and I can just step on it I'll be able to get up to that quick and see if I can get up in, into the 500 horsepower all right guys getting back on the highway Let's see if we can get done here running out of time before I have to get off not having luck I'm trying to get this horsepower challenge done with enough space to be able to step on it We've got one more opportunity coming up I'm trying to let you guys experience that with me so you see I'm not playing around I'm not joking around So easy to do in these cars, just no no room to do it in this city. Well, I tried. Anyways, guys, that was my little, I guess you could say, sorry to not doing your challenges on the dates when you had them scheduled. 
like I said, work didn't permit me to do it during that time and before the end of the year how I wanted to do it. The weather, this snow and ice we just recently had two days ago didn't permit me to do it. So I had to do it on the first. Today is still, I wouldn't even say good conditions to be doing it in, but this is the best the roads have, have been in the last few days. So happy new year to everyone. Sorry guys, I was late on the challenges. Hope you, hopefully you understand why. So I want to thank you guys for the subscribes. Thank you guys for the views and I'm trying to bring some decent content to you guys for 2018. So stay tuned. I appreciate the support. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a wrap.